Hi Capricorn, welcome to Ascending Souls Journey. <clears throat> this is for the mid-month August reading and it is for Sun, Moon, and Rising. All my general readings are for Sun, Moon, and Rising. So if I forget to say it, <clears throat> you'll know that that's actually what it is. And I would like to thank all of you for subscribing, sharing, and liking my videos and also to those of you who have booked readings with me and made donations to my channel. I truly love doing this for you and appreciate all of you now what we're going to do it oh and if you would like to book a reading please go to ascendingsoulsjourney.com and you can uh, go to the readings tab and the guidance tab and select from there which reading works for you and you can pay for it on the site and um, and send me the questions if that's appropriate to my email ascending souls journey at gmail.com so okay Capricorn we're looking at your career and finance right now now the top row is the energy and what we just left the week that just ended today is the start the 15th and it's going through the 31st of August so for some of you regarding money you had a decision to make whether you wanted to walk away from the situation you were in or if you should stay, okay? And judgment is the, the outcome card for the week. So for many of you, you may have felt, heard, or just had an inner knowing that it was time to make a change. You're being called to make a change or a choice. This is actually a change. For some of you, you actually made the, the, the change or you started it. And you're feeling a loss coming into this week. You're feeling a loss. But you actually have... You actually have two, possibly three opportunities that are coming to you. Now because we have the five of cups that's a feeling sad at a loss the page of pentacles the knight of swords and the knight of wands now the end of this week the knight of wands may be something that um somebody comes in and they may make an offer to you and it'll be one of those kind of situations where it's like hey i got this really great deal but we gotta hurry 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 so what i'm hearing is you guys need to actually slow down one we're in mercury retrograde so it's not always a good idea to sign contracts and and accept offers during that time it's okay if you do just make sure that you really read the fine print so whatever this person is going to offer you and i think this person is about your finances like an investment move and i do believe these are opportunities for a new position but where you're leaving, it's a good thing to leave. For those of you that this is resonating with, there was um, a person that was in charge that was holding you back. You were not able to prosper and grow with that organization or in that financial investment. It has to do with career and finance. So you'll know what it is, uh, what I'm referring to. For many of you, that would be the career, the job that you've been at, and that is why you're sad, because you've made a lot of friends. You may have been there for a long time. When we're at the same company for years, that's like our, you know, that's like our family. We spend more time at work than we do with our own personal families, but it's going to be a really good opportunity that's going to be presented to you you may even have a fourth offer because we have the empress for some of you but really what i'm hearing is it's very important for you as you come out of this week and move into the next week maybe you haven't made a decision maybe you have but we have the five of swords here so for some of you, you may still be battling it in your head, and that, that's clear because we have the Eight of Swords at the end. But I will say this, you may have some petty battling that's going on, maybe where you're leaving. The battling, I'm thinking, is more in your head. 
okay? You're, do I do this? Do I do that? I don't know what to do. I'm not sure. I've been there for so long. It's really, this is hard. I don't know how to do it. So for those of you who are in your head about this, embody the energies of the Empress. The Empress is a person who has major abundance in her life. She's like the epitome of what we all want to be when we grow up. She can have a career, she can handle her family, she handles the finances, she decorates her home beautiful. This is a person who's got it all together. And when we make the move, when you make this change, you have a brand new beginning coming and it is going to give you a lot of abundance. It's a wonderful opportunity. So don't be stuck in your thoughts literally do not get stuck in your thoughts because that's what this card is indicating you've got wonderful things here you've got two three maybe four opportunities maybe you have two in work and two in finance but this is i'm really hearing that you need to act like this think like this type of a person and when you do the beginning is going to be incredible and you are literally being called to do this you may be getting dreams about it, messages, daydreams. For some of you, when it comes to love, you've been at a, at a, at a crossroad. Like, I, excuse me, I don't know which way I want to go. I'm not sure if I want to walk away. Do I stay? Do I go? But again, we've got the Two of Swords, the Eight of Cups, Four of Pentacles, and Judgment. So you are being called to take action now if you choose to stay then you already know what you're dealing with it's not going to change it is not going to change i see nothing here that is going to indicate a change if you stay however should you choose to go then after you feeling the loss which you would be feeling this week if you did actually do it maybe this energy is going to run into this week because you know we do have overlaps of time so this could be Mm, I'm hearing September so it can actually run into the beginning week of September for some of you <clears throat> yeah you're sad about walking away all right but you also know that if you walk away it is going to be better for you and as soon as you walk away you not only have oh I can't pick the cards up <laughs> You, you have the Eight of Pentacles going to present a solid, stable, grounded offer. You have the Knight of Swords, hasty, coming in. They want to tell you how they feel. You may have a person who comes in who is hot, hot, hot. I mean, this person is like, whoa, who is that? And you want to talk to them. But this person may be in and out of your life very quickly. They make sure you pay attention to it because they could be all about passion, just sex, and move on. So, but you have the Queen of uh, the King of Swords and the Page of Pentacles as well. Again, I have only heard that this card, the Five of Swords, is battling in your head. You know, the battling back and forth, and it completely is justified in your thinking. However, it's really not because walking away from this situation is the right thing to do. You're being called to make a, a, uh, a move. You're being called to make a change, make a choice. Two of Swords means you're indecisive. You don't need to be indecisive. This is the real deal. This is good for you. So feel the loss, feel the, the sorrow, but do not, do not dwell in that, okay? But this page of pentacles that's coming in is going to be a really good offer this knight of swords they're very hasty right this is this represents air sign qualities so we're looking at intelligent they're most likely very handsome and charming as well not as maybe not as much as this one but they speak the truth with clarity they're fast they're going to come in really fast and when you, because you, you know who I'm talking about. You guys know who I'm talking about. When you accept the offer, you have the Ace of Cups, a brand new beginning filled with 
abundance and joy and love. I mean, like in a big way. And I think it's this one. The one that's a little slower, the one that's a little calmer. Not the one that's all fiery, let's go to the bar, let's do this, let's go. Not that one. This one maybe, but I'm, I mean, if we're looking, it could be, but I don't think that's who it is. This might be the person you're walking away from trying to get you back. Um, yeah, it's going to be wonderful. All I keep hearing is, yes, this is a good thing. This is good. This is a new beginning. So <clears throat> if you feel that you are stuck in your thoughts, battling back and forth, what do I do? Who do I pick? What do I do? You need to pick the one that you feel you can be yourself with. Literally be yourself, okay? This is a woman or a man, because this is a general energy. This empress indicates a person who knows who they are. They know what they want to do. They know where they want to go. They know what kind of a relationship they want. And it is really important for you to be like that. Act like the empress, what we all describe to you that the empress is. Okay? When these people come in, and they're going to come in, okay, flirt, okay? This is a beautiful card. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. When we flirt, we are not thinking about the past. We're not sorry. We aren't sad. We aren't thinking about the future. We're like, wow, this is a beautiful moment. And that's what happens when we flirt. Be in the moment now, okay? And here, this is backing it up. Let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. So that is saying, yes, be in the now. Don't push it. Don't hound them. Don't try to contact them all the time. Let things flow naturally. All right, after you go out, you wait a couple days. If they contact you, you communicate, but don't just keep trying to you know let it unfold naturally and the last card that came out for you is it's safe for you to love open your heart and give and receive I mean absolutely beautiful walking away for this group that I'm I, I'm seeing actually there's two groups that this is pertaining to this is the right thing for you to do and you're gonna have an amazing end of the month so stay out of your thoughts you can get out of your thoughts. That's what swords represent, right? Eight of swords represents thoughts. Ruminating thoughts. You keep thinking over and over. What if they're like who I left? Or, or you know, what if they don't like me? Or what, what if, all right? But what if they do? So live in the now and flirt and let go of the control issues and you're gonna have an amazing, wonderful, brand new adventure and a brand new beginning for many of you. So Capricorn, I hope you have a really wonderful next two weeks and I will see you in September. Much love.